Uh, before I actually get into my invention, uh, let me start by giving you a sense of context. Let's talk about transportation for a minute. Now, as you all know, there are three main ways to move around, right? We can use public transportation, or we can use an automobile or motorcycle. Now, as you, some of you might know, uh, public transportation is one of the safest ways to move around. We are traveling a lot higher than the other people, and so it's really safe. When it comes to automobiles, recently they got a lot safer with the airbags and collision prevention systems. They are really safe. But when, when it comes to a motorcycle, they are not really safe. They remain incredibly vulnerable on the road. And if you really look at all the statistics of accidents, uh, you, you will clearly see that motorcycles face a lot of accidents than other modes of transportation. So there's clearly a problem here. And in order to address this issue, in order to improve the quality of motorcyclists, you need, an, uh, you need a very powerful device in order to empower cyclists. And I think I came up with the, the product that has that capability. And it's called the eye helmet. Now, what is the eye helmet? In a sentence, it's a device that is capable of providing situational awareness to motorcyclists. Uh, it's an embedded system. It comes with a hardware device attached to a special device and an Android app. Uh, it connects via Bluetooth. Um, what you see on the bottom is the actual product. And on the top, you will see how you should mount the smartphone on your motorcycle. Or even if you keep it in the pocket, that will be fine. It will communicate via Bluetooth. Um, talking about features, there are a lot. Uh, so I don't actually have time to go through all these things. So what I'm going to do is I'll take you through some of the key features and then uh, switch to a video that quickly takes you through a lot of features. Now, what you see right here is the main user interface. On the top, you will have a control panel to um, pick which features you want. Uh, on the bottom panel, you have the settings menu. It actually uh, usually remains uh, locked, so you have to do a special gesture to unlock it to prevent accidental interactions. And then you have a summary of all the sensor readings and inputs. You will never actually have to read these things, but in case you wanted, they are there. And it has a speedometer, which works via GPS. You don't have to connect any additional hardware to the physical cycle uh, through GPS. It just works. And then uh, there's a, an indicator to uh, indicate the distance you are maintaining with the vehicle following you. Uh, there's an international standard called two seconds law. Uh, depending on your speed, you have to maintain a two seconds clearance with the vehicle in front of you. And since the eye helmet knows your speed, and if the vehicle behind you is not maintaining the appropriate distance according to your current speed, then it will alert you that you are at risk. Um, so uh, let's move to the uh, video. And while these features are explained in the video, I'll explain them through. So uh, it has a uh, LED flash if you want to switch on. And uh, you can dynamically adjust its brightness if you want. Uh, then there's a light sensor built in. So in case the, if you switch on the auto flash mode, the environment is dark, it turns on the light. Then the distance sensor. It actually has an ultrasonic distance sensor built into the back of the helmet. So if the vehicle behind gets too close, then it can alert you. And even inside the helmet, there's an LED indicator. So even if you don't look at the mobile phone screen, you will still be able to know. This is how you can adjust its sensitivity setting. If you turn on the auto hazard mode, then if the vehicle behind you gets too close, then the LED on the top of the helmet also comes on to indicate the person following you, to indicate that he's getting too close. And when the dynamic mode is switched on, the uh, indicator helmet adjusts its brightness to indicate how far the vehicle behind you is staying. So it's kind of blind, blind spot assist. It also comes with a physical remote controller to conveniently interact with the system if you want. Um, at night, uh, if the screen dimming mode is on, the display goes dark to make it easy to read. If you want, the, you can turn on the mobile phone flash. And uh, in case you put the phone into the pocket, it automatically recognizes it and switches off itself. Then there's a motion sensor. In, in case you face an accident, it can use the uh, onboard uh, accelerometers and uh, activate the SOS mode in case you face an accident. And it will automatically send SMS messages up to, three, to up to three contacts containing your current GPS location, the speed you crashed, 
all the information are there and these kind of messages will be sent to three people so they will know that you are in trouble uh, you can set a maximum speed limit if you want if you switch on the speed alerts mode uh, here you can set the maximum speed limit and if you exceed that then the system can alert you then uh, the minute you wear your helmet that button automatically becomes green to indicate that you are properly wearing your helmet and the minute you remove the helmet it, it can automatically memorize your current GPS location so in case you park your bike somewhere and the minute you remove minutes your gone. helmet Five minutes gone. it will memorize your current location and uh, it has maps built in so you can open the maps directly or if you want directions to the place where you parked your bike you can press directions and since it knows where you parked your bike it can automatically guide you back to your bike if you want and uh, it also has a smoke detector built in it's actually an air quality sensor uh, unlike in automobiles motorcycle riders don't have air purification systems you will be breathing direct air so if the air is polluted with uh, toxic gases or smoke and if it is not breathable then uh, here I'm demonstrating it the system can actually detect it and it will alert you that the air condition is not breathable so you know you should take some precautions so this is the app use center there are no menus everything is given in one single device this is the device you should attach to your helmet with all the proximity sensors and everything so yeah that's the eye helmet thank you